Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I don't have a journaling video for you, but I do have like an update video. This is the first video coming from the States and um, yeah, I wish I could have done a journal video, but not everything is set up yet. So I've been here about a week and a half and it's been good. Um, it's been a little overwhelming, but I guess it's normal. Like I'm missing my parents, I'm missing my brother, my nephews. Um, yeah, and just things are different here, but I'm really enjoying myself. I'm enjoying like sprucing up the house a little bit, but not everything is like in order yet. Dining room table is coming. My desk is coming. I don't have a desk yet, so I'm just sitting like everywhere but at a desk to write. Um, but when I have those things, I can like easily do a journal video and also do some reviews again. It's just really hard right now to do that. Um, but yeah, it'll come, um, I think before next week I'll have that settled and then we can like go for it again. Um, trip was good. Uh, we had an hour delay and I was really worried about my dog. She was fine. She turned out fine, but it's not something that, um, I felt really good about putting her in the hold. So my dog is 24 pounds. Um, and KLM allows dogs up to like 18 pounds to be in the actual airplane in the in the cabin with you You have to put them in a bag and stuff like a travel case, but they're allowed in the plane with you uh, But my dog is too heavy. So she had to go into the hold um, we had to drop her off like four hours or three hours in advance um, that felt really weird and then uh, we had an hour delay so it took even longer for her to be in that stupid crate and then um, afterward, um, of course, she came. She came through the, like the luggage. She was like an oversized baggage. There was no one there, no other dogs, no people, and like I had to find her by myself. It was so sad. And then I took her out of the crate, and she peed all over the airport floor. <laughs> She's like, I'm not having this. Um, she came out fine though. Like she wasn't. Like there wasn't anything wrong with her and Kalem. Kalem is really nice to give me updates about her so I think someone was in the hold over there so like they check her temperature and she's been getting water and like that was really good. Um, also was traveling with four suitcases, a wedding dress, um, all went fine. I do think the wedding dress will need to be steamed. Um, it wasn't put into the hold or overhead bins but I mean it's still traveling. It's like in a plane for nine hours. Yeah, so we'll get that done. I think the wedding is in um, a month and 19 days. Uh, it's going super fast. I have very little hope that my parents will be able, be able to be there, but we can't really predict how that's gonna go. Anyway, yeah. Um, so that was the trip and then, um, I don't know, we've just been doing stuff in the house. We put up curtains, we put up pictures. Um, I put up another bookshelf. I've been walking the dogs a lot. Um, like I walk them at least like two hours a day. Uh, Avi's not really into that. Fitz, Fitz needs it. <laughs> like he's a he's a 16 month old dog. Um, he's very puppyish still. They just played for like half an hour and it's like 10 p.m. and I'm like, oh, you guys are so intense. Um, but yeah. He likes it, they're happy. He's super strong, like it's hard for me to hold him, but I can manage. And then I uh, started working out slowly. Um, so the Netherlands is very flat. This is very hilly. So I started to run again, but I'm like still trying to dip my toes in the water, getting my feet wet. I'm not like fully there yet. Um, what I like a lot about being here is going to uh, church. Church in the Netherlands is always like, kind of like, stoic and solemn and serious and then here it's like a celebration which i love so on sundays um we go to church and i journal at church <laughs> so i might tape the sunday journal video some other time because i can't really film myself journaling in church like that would be weird yeah it would be weird yeah let's not do that yeah um writing i'm grabbing my journal have i been writing a lot i've been writing um an average amount um I do have days that we're too busy or I'm too tired to not write. Um, so jet lag, oh, I see yawning, I can't believe it. Um, jet lag, I'm almost over jet lag. 
Um, but I can still like tell by my body's reaction to like um, the times and being hungry that I'm still not completely over it. Um, so I get hungry at stupid times. Like I wake up at like 4 a.m. and I'm super hungry. Like. What do you do? You just stay in bed, but like it, it interferes with your sleep and like I'm still getting to that. Um, so sometimes I'm too tired to write. Uh, during the day I hang out with James, I don't write that much. Um, he's currently at work, it's 10 p.m. And he has to work until 1.30 a.m. Um, then he comes home. He's going to day shift soon, so that will be nice. Um, we'll have more time together at night. But yeah, that's like... It's, this is a very like rambly update. Writing. I'm in a long term notebook. <laughs> That's James. I don't know if he wants to be on the video. Well, he's in the video now. Um, I'm in a long term in my Gale and Leather uh, cover. Um, I've been writing a lot with my sailor pens. Uh, they're really good. And then recently inked up a twist be eco with. You guys, this is crazy. Ama Iro. Which is really nice. Blue ink. Um, all purple August is over. Um, it was good. It was very easy for me to do that. Like, I was just enjoying myself in all the purples. And then some people, um, so I'm in a, uh, I'm in a pen server on Discord and some people are doing all blue September. Um, which is really fun because I like sort of feel like I've inspired people to like do the one ink one month thing Which is fun to me um, I'm I honestly I could join them. I haven't uh, used anything but blue this month um, But I do have some pens that I'm keeping inked in purple like the Lamy studio, which is inked with dark lilac um, That's staying inked with dark lilac, so I'm not sure what's gonna happen yet But yeah that's the journal. I wrote three pages today. I'm probably not gonna write more. I'm probably gonna go to bed soon because I'm yawning in a video. I'm honestly kind of tired, tired. But yeah, that's good. When everything is in order, I'll give you guys a house tour. Right now, the, <laughs> I'm in the living room. It's like an oasis for dogs. There's like toys everywhere. I can so show you some like, there's this one and um, this used to be a sheep. They have two of these. Both of them are defluffed. Um, so, and they fight over these two bones a lot. I think Fitz is coming to check on me, what I'm doing with his toys. But yeah. Fitzy, come on. Come here. You want to cuddle? He's very tired. He's like, why are you touching the sheepy? Maybe you can shot. I don't know. I got a new... Oh no, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I got a new um, tripod. <laughs> I don't know how to tilt it properly. Fitzy, come on. You're so tired. Oh, you're such a cute boy. I wish I could show you. Do you want to be on the video? You gotta come here. No, he doesn't want to. He's like, leave me alone. Okay. I've rambled for nine minutes now. Not all coherent, I think. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll come back to you with a normally uh, scheduled journaling video soon. Um, when I have a desk, most likely. And then I'll also kind of show you my pen setup. Um, I haven't like, like unpacked all my pens yet. Um, but yeah. That'll come soon. Fitzy, you gotta go to sleep. Stop playing. Stop playing. Okay. Anyway. Have a good night. Have a good day. Have a good Labor Day weekend. Alright. Bye bye.